Dexcom had their 2020 Investors Days earlier this week and they shared some really interesting news about the new G7. We've been waiting for this for quite some time because the G7 was delayed due to disruptions to ongoing clinical trials due to COVID-19. But now it looks like Dexcom is back on track and ready to go into battle with Freestyle Libre 3 from Abbott. Dexcom G7 breaking news right here, right now. Let's go! Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tom. I've been type 1 diabetic for over 30 years and on this channel I help you navigate your diabetes journey. So what is Dexcom G7? G7 is a real-time factory calibrated continuous glucose monitor similar to the Dexcom G6 and the Freestyle Libre 3. The Dexcom G7 sensor will not need calibration and will be able to securely transmit the blood glucose data to your phone or other digitally connected devices via Bluetooth. The major improvements to the G7 from the G6 are simpler application, simpler startup and faster warm-up time. The Dexcom CEO Kevin Sayer mentioned in a recent interview that the goal is a warm-up time of one hour or less. For comparison with the G6, the G6 warm-up time right now is two hours. So really nice improvement there regarding the warm-up time from two hours to one hour or less. The G7 will be fully disposable and will be 60% smaller than the G6. On top of that, the G7 will not need a separate transmitter and the transmitter will be built in. So hopefully Dexcom is finally catching up with Libre, which is way easier to apply right now. If you are in the US and want to get an idea of the size of the G7, it should be about the size of a nickel. So really small size, just like Libre 3. Now Dexcom says that with this new design, they will be able to scale the production much faster and this will allow them significantly reduce the manufacturing costs. Unfortunately, they don't talk about the price. So it's not clear whether the reduced manufacturing cost will actually reflect it to a reduced price for the final customer. So right now we can just hope that the Dexcom G7 price will become more reasonable and a little bit closer to Freestyle Libre because Libre is currently crushing Dexcom in terms of price. They are way cheaper. The G7 will be paired with brand new all-in-one app which will include real-time glucose information combined with personalized insights. And they are also working on improvements of the follow app. The Dexcom G7 will also stay freely available for third-party solutions and third-party apps. And the Dexcom CEO mentioned that they really want to see other third parties coming up with apps that could integrate with Dexcom. And this is really good news because Abbott is not so open to third party solutions. At least that's my personal experience from using the Freestyle Libre. At the time of first launch, the G7 will only last 10 days. So the same time as the G6. But Dexcom is saying that they will initiate additional clinical trials that could justify the sensor use for more than 10 days and it looks like currently they are aiming at 16 days. The clinical studies right now show consistent accuracy of performance across days of sensor wear up to 16 days regardless of location and regardless of the age category. So it looks really promising and Dexcom will probably catch up with Libre 3 who will offer 14 days wear time. Now you see the MART numbers for Dexcom G7 are a bit lower than Libre 3 so it looks like the G7 could be a little bit more accurate than the Freestyle Libre 3. The Dexcom G7 should integrate with the same systems that the Dexcom G6 integrates with. So it should work with Omnipod Horizon, Control IQ from Tandem and Dexcom by the way is working on integration with multiple apps at the same time and they also promised direct to Apple Watch. And the integration with multiple apps is not something easy so uh, Dexcom is working on this and they probably will come up with a solution 
that will be delivering the data from the sensor to multiple apps on your phone. The Dexcom CEO also mentioned that they are working on extending the Bluetooth range, which means it could be possible to have the receiver and the transmitter a little bit further away from each other in the future and still receive the signal from the transmitter. Dexcom also says that a few assembly lines are up and running and several more will be ready by the end of the year. And they expect to launch the G7 on several markets in 2021 once the results of the clinical trials are approved by relevant authorities. They did not specify the countries at this point, but I think we should know this information pretty soon. One of the first countries will probably be US, but once the information is available, I will definitely share it with you on my channel. So stay tuned, subscribe, click the bell and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. By the way, if you want to learn about the main G7 competitor, Freestyle Libre 3, click on the video on the screen right now. Guys, I apologize. I know this video was a bit sloppy. I did not even shave, as you can see, but I really wanted to give you this exciting news about the Dexcom G7. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you, and I'm looking forward to see you in the next Type 1 Talks video. Ciao.